Welcome to Healthcare Analytics. We will see the role of span rows option. Span rows S P A N R O W S. Span rows option in PROC report. So I will show you one example where I wouldn't use span rows option. Another example where I use span rows option. So we first will see without the option, and next we see with the option. So let's see how we are using. So this is the same. We are writing ODS out statement, and within the ODS statements, that is the start and end of ODS statements. Between the ODS statements, we are writing the PROC report. And in PROC report, I am using span rows option. The data set I am using is SASM dot cars. Which is already there in the SAS Help library. If you are not familiar with the Protect Special Cares option, please watch the video on Protect Special Cares. So let's run this and see. Now we have lot of cars in Asia. Origin of car is the manufacturing origin. Of these cars is Asia. Then we have cars built in Europe, Europe, and you can see actually Audi, BMW. All these cars are built in Europe. Here we don't have any continuation. It doesn't mention Europe, but we have it here. We don't have it here. Only once it's mentioned. The beginning. Next, we have cars made in USA, and you can see it doesn't repeat here. When the page changes, it doesn't repeat here. So we would like to, if you want to have it to be repeated here, that is, you want to have USA mentioned under origin, then you have to use the span row option. For example, somebody who uh, looks at this page may have to go scroll up and see okay which particular country it is made. So let's say you have a very long listing, and you have to scroll a lot of pages to see where the beginning is. Like, what's the beginning origin here? In this scenario, it's origin. So let's let's say it's a listing of adverse events, and you have different categories: gastro, nervous system, and so on. So, if you are going through the listing and gastro has let's say five pages, nervous system has nearly seven eight pages. So, you have to scroll up and see which particular category the particular adverse event belongs to. So, this is basically helps if you have USA mentioned in the next page, it becomes easy to understand which particular. You don't have to scroll up and see which country it belongs to. You can just figure out from by seeing this page itself. So, that's the purpose of span rows option. So let me just show you. Let me keep this output here. Minimize it and run the program with the span rows option. Here I am using the span rows option. Yeah, let me remove this. I'm sorry. Actually, I should have removed this because span rows doesn't work with ODS traditional ODS RTF file. So let me just close it and rerun it and show you. The result is same. The result won't change. So here it's still the same. Europe is not repeated here. It's Audi, BMW. Ideally, Europe should repeat here, but it doesn't. Then we have USA, and its continuation of USA doesn't repeat here. I'll minimize this, and we'll go to the next one with the span rows option. But please note that span rows option works with ODS tag sets. It doesn't work with the just ODS RTF file statement. You have to give the ODS tag sets statement. With this statement only, the span rows option works. So let me just run it and show you. With the span rows option, and I will make it report one. Report under span rows. So let's run and see. So here we have 
I'll just minimize this here and minimize this. I can see side by side. So the right side is with the span rows option. The left side is without the span rows option. So on the left side you see euro starting here but it doesn't repeat here but on the other hand here on the right side if you see Europe is getting repeated you can see them in the next page starts BMW you have Europe repeated as a origin similarly if you come down here the USA starts and the page changes and again you have USA mentioned it on the left side without the span rows option you will see that the USA is not mentioned here it doesn't repeat here this value doesn't show up here on the other hand here it, it shows up after every new page at every new page it will show up the name of the country so that's the purpose of span rows option it causes the the, way, the way value the variable that you pass to be repeated the variable that you pass in the order statement you have to give order statement order option for the variable and for this particular variable it will be repeated the variable for which you are providing the order option is repeated in every page when the page changes and the for example here the car is European and the next page also the same European cars but you want the euro country uh, the continent to be repeated so actually you can give that origin order option and span rows option so if you give these options along with the odious tax sets automatically you will have the the country repeated here its origin repeated in every page so that's the role of span rows option i hope this was clear if you have any questions just drop a comment if you didn't understand something just put it in the comment and i will try to answer it and if you like the video please like it and subscribe it thank you